Hello and welcome back to Chicken for Breakfast, the podcast where we talk about the basic fundamentals of life and perspective to, well, us. What's up? We got Darian back on the podcast. Let's do it. We got Jalen on the podcast. What's good, Johnny? Don't be giggling now. I'm Magic, and uh, today we're gonna we're we're in a little bit of a cool location. We're at All Star. We're at a, an All Star Week convention thing. I don't even know what this is called, uh, but it's a it's kind of a crazy time. This is not at all what we expected this to be, uh, but we here we're still making some content. We're getting some some stuff done. So today we are actually going over what All Star Week is, in like in real life terms, because y'all are sports guys. So we're gonna go over what All Star Week is. And then we're gonna break it down to uh, like how we can be all stars, like like individual, like like Smash Mouth, like all stars, you know. Smash Mouth said everyone could be an all star, so so we're gonna talk about what that means. So let's let's dive into it. What is All Star Week? So All Star Week is like basically they just get all the best players from each NBA team, or it's like fan voted and like coach voted, like general manager voted they vote like for certain players to be all-stars who they think are the best players it's like 15 from each conference then they do a draft and they just compete in an all-star game they got different all-star events like a skills challenge where they got to dribble the ball do like an obstacle course and pass the ball and like hit like a three-pointer and a layup they also got like the slam dunk contest where they get the best dunkers from like around the basketball league they also got a three-point contest where they get the like the six best three-point shooters and they compete in a three-point shootout see who can be the who shoots the best on the three-point line, and then like the like the grand stage of it is like happens the next day after all that happens. It's an all-star game where the top 15 players and their eyes compete to see who can win. So like a like a giant scrimmage. Yeah, it's basically like a giant scrimmage. It's all for fun, but if you win, your team gets money and you donate it to charity. Oh, that's good. That's good. That's good. I like that. I like that. What do you? Uh, anything you need to add to that? Um. I'm going to be honest, you kind of ran through the whole thing. I didn't think you was going to do that. But no, like, All-Star Weekend is, like, it's really just for people to have a really good time. They got celebrity games. You can meet some celebrities, whether you're TikTok famous, Instagram famous, YouTube, the whole nine. Uh, it's a great time to be around with family and friends. Come on out. Have a great time. Because let me tell you, them guys, people was funny, man. The people was funny. You enjoy yourself. Like he said, um, All Star Game. He's, I don't know why he said top fifteen. It's really thirty players because there's two teams. Yeah, but you know, I meant like top fifteen from like e- different teams. I, you know what I meant? Like each conference. Yeah, each yeah, conference. The, yeah, pretty much fifteen of the best conference, and um, you know, you just gotta enjoy yourself. That's really all All Star Weekend is, is: experience, enjoy yourself. They don't tell you that it's very expensive when All Star Weekend come. But other than that, it, it sounds like it's lit, man. So, so what's your favorite? I, I know we don't aren't really doing much for All Star Weekend, but what's your favorite thing about All Star Weekend? Probably the All Star Game. I don't get it twisted. We love to see like the dunk contest and the three point contest. I don't really care about too much of the uh, skills challenge, all like that. And um, the Rising Star Games are always great because you get to see some of the players that are first year and second year players. Um, they're very great and very talented, and then you get to see them play against each other. So it's really nice because it's like this is going to be the future in the NBA one day. You know what I'm saying? That's why it's the rising stars, you know, they're hand selected. And it's like you guys are the future. They are looking to be the future of, you know, the league. God, interesting, interesting. Uh, my favorite would have to be the dunk contest, even though at this point it's repetitive. Like we see the same dunks over and over again from like previous dunks. Yeah, that, like, so I don't really rock with it. They, they take it from other people, but sometimes it's nice because they like pay homage to people like, some people do it like Vince Carter or like how Larry Nance Jr., he replicated his father's dunk that won him the dunk contest, even though Larry Nance Jr. didn't win, which I thought he should have. But the dunk contest is my favorite because you get to see people pay homage to like the older dunk contest people that like paved the way for these new dunkers. And sometimes you see some different dunks that you haven't seen before. That's true. But I don't think it's not any – listen, it's not going to get any better than the Aaron Gordon and Zach Levine dunk contest. Yeah, that's the best dunk, dunk contest of all time. That I've ever witnessed with my own eyes on TV because I definitely wasn't going where they was at because it cost a lot of money and we got bills. It was in Toronto. And I still got bills. <laughs> all right, all right. Bills so, don't go. So All-Star Week is essentially just a group of not necessarily um, like people who are already there, already at the top. But like you said, they were rising stars. No, that is that's there's rising stars, then there's all stars. Yeah, like they're they're, oh, okay, both, they're all okay. gonna be there. So See, the top is, of the be, the best of the best 
are going to play against each other, and then the younger people who just got drafted and the second year players that are in the league, they're going to be the ones that play each other okay. in the beginning, and then that's when you got your dunk, your three point contest, your skills challenge. And then everybody knows on Sunday, which is the last day of All Star weekend, is the All Star game. So we can agree that All Stars means they're some of the best players. Yes, absolutely. They are. They are the, the best at what they do for that year, though. Because right. I understand so what, that every year, every year the same people who are All Stars are not always All Stars. Right, because the stats change. Different yes, people everybody switching. Teams, yes, exactly. Right, right, so right. Like, somebody got a breakout season, and they're playing like an All Star this year. Like, oh, he's got All Star numbers. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, So yeah. that's why you got a lot of first-time All-Stars this year. Some people are second-time All-Stars, third-time All-Stars, and you got people like LeBron and CP3 who are like, you know, 17-time All-Stars. How you been, you've been an All-Star every year since you've been in the league but two years, and that was when you were a first- and second-year player. You've been an All-Star every year after that. And then you got people who it's like the very first time, their fifth time, their eighth time. Like, every year, like, you could be an All-Star, but someone is always having a much better season, so that's what they look for. They right. like to let everybody know, like, you're playing so good, you're an All-Star game, and that means everything. That means your, your personal goals in your season is a success. What I'm driving at is that All-Stars make it to the top of what they do by working and, and you know, just being great at what they do. Yeah, and one of the big it. things that we talk about here on Chicken for Breakfast is Sick Parvis Magnum, which means, Sick Parvis Magna, which means greatness from small beginnings. And I think that that's, like, that All-Star Week really, really shows that, like, they started with, you know, maybe just playing basketball in, in middle school, high school, and then they, they worked up to this point of they're the greatest basketball players in the country. So, so if we look at ourselves as All-Stars, how can we achieve, like, like, what are some steps that we could take to be the best version of ourselves? Because obviously, I'm not where I want to be as a person in my career, and I, I don't want to. I don't want to speak for you, but I would almost guarantee that you're probably not either. Fact, from, yeah. from what we've kind of talked about before, so, so what is it that? How can we become all stars for ourselves? Oh, uh, I would say we could become all stars for ourselves by just staying, um, just having a high ambition. Like, don't get, don't lack motivation. Just keep being motivated. And motivation is a big thing in everything. And if you're unmotivated, you're not going to be your highest self. So it's always good to stay positive and be motivated so you have a healthy mindset and you can get to where you want to be. I like, the, I like the healthy mindset aspect of that. Like, everything we do is a mindset. Yeah, that's the way I try to look at things. Like, I always, or I usually look at things from, like, a negative standpoint. But I've learned that good things don't happen unless you unless you think good things are going to happen. So it's better to speak into an existence than be like, oh, this bad thing is going to happen. So if you think good, good things will happen. See, we were just talking about that on a, on a podcast last week. Like, it's all about this positive aspect. Like, it's don't let other people ruin your mood. Don't let negativity run your life. But, like, that starts with you not allowing that. So I, I really enjoy you bringing that. That was good. That was a good. I like that. Thank you. All right, Darren, how do you think that we can, uh, how do you think that we can become all-stars? I think that we can become all stars by being absolutely consistent. You gotta be consistent, stay dedicated, pay attention to the, uh, your goals that you have for yourself. You keep your goals in your mind and work for it, man. Just stay focused. Don't let nobody discourage you and get out your way. You wanna be an all star, you gotta put in the work. Some it might require you to have less sleep than other people. It might require you to do an all nighter. It might require you to skip times out with the homies, with the bros probably can't play the game this day you know what I'm saying so it's like you just got to be dedicated and know what you want and understand that you can't get anywhere in life without working hard for it so if you want to be an all-star you're gonna have to put in work you're gonna have to put in hours and hours and hours reps reps over and over and over again so that's how you could be an all-star in any aspect in your life all right sounds good sounds good I actually agree with that as well that's uh you gotta like the podcast. You, if you want to have a good podcast, you want to upload, you know, weekly. You want to you want to have a set schedule that your podcast comes out on, and like that gets really difficult sometimes. I know, I know, you guys have a podcast and uh, two minutes to go podcast on YouTube. Go check it out. Link in my bio. Uh, link in the description. Subscribe to that. But uh, you guys have a, a podcast where, and I mean, I've seen it several times where it, sometimes it's it's so hard to you know be consistent with what you're putting out there and I know if you talk to you know big people and it's very easy to say to be consistent and it's very easy to say it's all about a mindset but at the end of the day like it comes down to us you it's know about applying it 
Yeah, it, it comes down to us being who we want to be, and not what other people want us to be, and not letting you know the negativity of the world get us down. And that's always a common theme on Chicken for Breakfast. Is like we are what we make ourselves to be, and I think everyone has potential to be an all star in their own way. You know, obviously, I'm not gonna be a basketball player. I'm not gonna be an all star. You're an all star at life. Exactly, we're all our own all star. That's what you're that's what the podcast is you about. Be, you can be the best at anything you do anywhere. Don't matter what it is, drawing, singing, color, and acting. I mean, it don't matter what it is. You can be all star in your life, and as long as you know that you are all star and you gonna be one, bro, sky's the limit. Exactly. Anything anything you want to add to the all star conversation? Oh uh, yeah, basically what Darian said. It's just you can be your own all star, like. Whatever makes you, whatever you think is you're, as an all star, that's what an all star is. Like, it's not really, not really a label on it. Like, I think I'm an all star right now. I'm loving what I'm doing. I'm loving that I'm going to school to do what I want to do in my future as a job. To me, that's being an all star. You are an all star. You are. You are. Yeah. I promise. But yeah, I, I, that's great. Anything you want to add? Stay focused. Stay on your grind. Understand the reasons why you're doing it, and get to work. Absolutely. Uh, I think that's all the time we have. Thank you for joining me, Jalen. No problem. Thank you for having me. Where can people find you? Um, You can find me on Instagram at Keith Jalen. And uh, what about you? You can find me on Instagram at D underscore J-A-X-X-3. Alrighty, and they two minutes to go podcast. We do that. Make sure you go check that out. Jax is also behind the camera. I don't, yeah, there he is, there he is. He's a part of that podcast as well. So thanks for tuning into this episode, and we're going to try to get some more content coming at you. Peace.